Welcome to Around a Round Table. This is the episode where your favorite guests from the Wreck My Podcast get together around a round table, even though... Are you guys around a table right now? I don't think any of you are around a table now. I'm around a, a desk. A desk? That's pretty close to a table. Yeah, I'm uh, sure it a is a table. table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, maybe not a round table, but we're here to talk about nothing and everything. He melts in your mouth, not in your hands. It's Cam. I can also do a bunch of other stuff in your mouth, too. Ah, but Craiger makes mouths happy. Yes, I Craig, do, because yeah. I'm sweet. Yes, uh, <laughs> he's too good for kids. It's Joe. Yeah, that is very true. I want nothing to do with kids. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the sweet you can eat. I'm your host, Jordan. Uh, I, You know, Joe, <laughs> Joe, can anyone guess what Joe's candy slogan I pulled from? Uh, my penis? Nope. <laughs> that that's not a candy too bar. Good, like too candy. good for kids. Too good for kids. Werther's Originals. <laughs> <laughs> Heath Bar. <laughs> no, it's Toffee Fair. Butterscotch. <laughs> oh, Toffee Fair, are good. Yeah, Toffee Fair. Oh, it should have been like those strawberry candies only grandmas have. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. So we are recording an episode, and typically when we do that, we are drinking some nice beverages. Uh, Joe, what yeah. you drinking up there? Since you're at the top of the screen. Um, kind of a mixture of things, but the one that I'm going to be opening up is this Golden Road Brewing Dodger Blonde Ale. Yeah, yes. guys, there should have been some baseball happening, but there's not. Yeah, we had that on the podcast uh, we did. quite a few months ago. Yeah. So and bring I that got a little uh, Nigori, crazy yeah, milk to wet my whistle. Some sake sake. Cam, what are you drinking sake in that nice, me, baby. What are you drinking in that nice mug you got there? Oh, in this very nice mug I have, I have a very disgusting drink. Mm -hmm. I am all out here. So if you're a listener and you love me, please send me. Uh, <laughs> but I, uh, over Christmas, I got a, um, a bottle of uh, Captain Morgan spiced gingerbread rum. Yeah. And that's I all I have. That sounds appetizing. It's not, it's not good. And so I put like, I filled up like half the cup with liquor so I could catch up to Joe. And then I don't have any more mixers. And so I filled the other half with water and ice. <laughs> oh, that's weird. That's, that's so, not good. Oh man. Um, I'm going to take a sip and you guys can see, <laughs> see what it looks like. Uh, 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 it's really not. Oh, uh, it's really, it doesn't sound not good. good. No. And then Craig, what are you drinking over there in your uh, wetsuit you got on? <laughs> Yes, oh. Because we're at home in quarantine, I'm all like, what better way to do a podcast than I'll throw on a wetsuit I bought one out about a decade ago. There you and go. <laughs> it still fits, but I'm going to get real sweaty up in here. And it's all for our YouTube viewers. You can see me doing this in a wetsuit. Yeah, and I see say, you drinking that beer. Living. Quality quality content. Quality yes. content. But I got from our beloved Pocock, beer in hand, head on head. You know, God bless America. Um, I got me some. Oh, I hope. He's already. I, I think I just. I opened the wrong one. This oh, is, yeah. <laughs> <not> one. <laughs> what were you trying to open? The this is Nick Dillon's. It's a. He's already got one, and I I I, I wanted a construction delay. So, oops, I opened you opened the wrong Nick's. one. <laughs> oops, that's no good. Uh, but but I opened it. Oh, here. Uh, let me go see if Nick Dillon's awake, so maybe I can give his to him. Yeah, you go do that. And we'll I mean, I sure here. hope so. It's only 3 p.m. I, I, he, I believe he just <laughs> showered. Oh. If, if Joe's awake, then I know. Wait, no, no, no. I, yeah. no I'm sorry. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the standard for, like, all of humanity. Oh, if I'm awake, I, I, everyone <laughs> else should be awake. I have to recant uh -huh. that. I forgot. He went on a walk earlier, like, several hours ago, so my bad. But I'll, I'll be here. Well, well, several hours but ago, I'm he's going... dead. Drink his beer. I know. I'm going to be drinking a construction delay from our beloved Poca. There you go. Um, I like too how he said, "Oh, he went on a walk a few hours ago, so he's got to take a nap now." I, what? <laughs> I I ran three miles this morning and I haven't napped yet, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, maybe you should, Jordan. Maybe I should. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's you know why I'm so weird. I just don't take enough naps. I don't sleep I enough. Nap whenever I can, I love napping. Yeah, I nap every every workday too. From about nine a.m. to five p.m., I take a nap. Um, so <laughs> I never take naps. No, I don't take naps. I love napping. Uh, if I do take a nap, do you guys do you take long naps or short naps? 
Corey and I took a nap for three hours yesterday. Oh my gosh. How do you do that? That's not a nap. That's a sleep. Yeah. Mm -mm. A sleep is longer. Okay. Here's the thing. If I sleep longer than 10 minutes, I actually feel more tired. So I take little 10 minute naps and then I'm good to go. But Madison, she has to sleep for at least an hour. So Mm -hmm. it's, it's a weird thing where when we take a nap together, I'm out for 10 minutes and she's out for an hour. So I play like video games or something. It's why Madison and I are both very pretty and you look like you. Oh, hey, uh, you know how you were trying to grow your facial hair out a while ago and then you gave up uh-huh. and shaved? I'm growing mine out right now. <laughs> oh, man. It's, it's spotty like a teenager. It's yeah, great. Dude. Our that facial hair is madness. almost identical. It grows yeah. in the same spot. It's so bad. And Madison was like, just try it for a few weeks. It's not like you're going out anywhere. I'm like, that's true. Yeah. Although I am being projected to potentially thousands of people if they wanted to watch millions. on YouTube. Millions. And millions. The millions. <laughs> and millions. Of the oh, Rock by Podcast fans. Here's a, we're going to take a little uh, wrestling break real quick while Craig's not here. So yeah, how oh, is that Craig's WrestleMania? Back. Craig's back. Whatever. Well, man, we can't take a wrestling break now. Uh, so, guys, I do have a random question for you once Craig puts random. his headsets on. Yeah. You ready for a random question, Craiger? Uh, this wetsuit was not a great idea, but I'm doing it for the viewers. And there probably you go. no one's going to care. All three of them that will watch this. All right, so. I've got a question, a question for you. Yeah. We have. Oh, so here's a random question. What fact do you wish you had never learned? Oh. That a blue whale's... Uh, load of semen is equivalent to five gallons i feel like you do like that you know that one because you say it quite a bit <laughs> <laughs> i say it because i want everyone else to be as miserable as me <laughs> yes uh craig or joe what do you guys it was a fact you wish you had never learned something that just keeps you up at night it just it milks your almonds anytime cam mentions a squirmy wormy <laughs> A squirmy wormy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Nobody um, wants a squirmy wormy. Um nothing super popping out to me right now. I don't know. Super nothing, pop, no, nothing's popping out of that wetsuit. Just, just, just me. Nothing's popping out. <laughs> uh so I think that learning that smell is based on particulates, like particles, oh. that freaks me out because now anytime I smell something bad, I just imagine I'm chewing on it. You are in, in my mouth. In her hand and throws it at you. Yeah, and then I'm like, no, it's in my mouth. Oh, you know, and so That's I wish what Madison I, says, doesn't she? Uh, well, <laughs> sometimes, yes. Uh, Johnny just opened up the door because, and it was right when I switched to the speaker, uh, my computer, because my headphones died. Right when you went, no, it's in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad that he got to hear me talk about that. All right, guys, do you have any hashtag problems you want to talk about this week? I'm actually doing pretty good. Oh, wow. Sitting at home is treating you well, huh? It's a good life. I, absolutely. I'm officially on spring break, so I don't even have to work from home. Spring I'm on my spring break. break. It's like 14 days. So <laughs> That's awesome. Um, Craigers, Craigers hashtag problem is he opened the wrong beer. And that he's well, in a yes. wetsuit. And then he's in a wetsuit. Well, also, my hashtag problem is, is like, when he said I have no problems, I went, okay, Joe Cubist, but I said it into the beer. because I- <laughs> <laughs> Craig is officially talking into the beer, not talking into the microphone. Um, Good. My hashtag problem, I mean, like, honestly, I feel really douchey saying it because, um, like, there are a lot of people who aren't working. But, like, my hashtag problem is that, like, I have to work six days a week right now. And, like, Real. it's... <laughs> It's not, it's, it's, it, 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 it's, it gets rough on you working six days a week. Well, that's you know? a lot of work. That'd be for normal yeah, I mean, times. I'm working that's less a lot. hours and stuff like that. But it's, uh, my hashtag problem is I'm working one extra day a week with, but while working six less overtime hours a week. Mm. So yeah. Work. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah. Joe, you doing good? Just chilling, having fun. Yeah. That's, that's me. No, no problems over in Joe land. So, nah. The thing I got here is, have you guys heard about this new show on Netflix, The Big Show Show? I actually watched the first two episodes. So here's the thing. My hashtag problem is the fact, yeah, it's it's Big Show. It's a sitcom featuring Big Show. 
Yep. And it looks like Last Man Standing or something like that. Uh, here's my problem with it. It looks awful, but I really want to watch it. <laughs> it's got Big Show in it. You have to. I know. I, I, I watched the first two episodes. It's not terrible. Yeah, Craig, what do you big got? Big Show's a wrestler, Craig. I know who the Big Show is. Tom. Um, But my thing well, is... Like, <laughs> well, well, it's the, the Big thing. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and that's actually the premise of the show is he retired from WWE and is trying to be with his family, and that's the premise of the show. Oh, okay. Craig, do you have anything more to add? It's not worth it anymore. Okay. <laughs> Craig, Come on, Craig's, Bags. Craig's hashtag problem is no. he can't speak loud enough to talk over us. No, uh, no I'm trying to be a good podcast. I also have another problem. You guys, and you guys are just like, screw you. I'm going to say what I want to think. Yeah. It's a good podcaster. It's literally our whole shtick. Yeah, where have you been? Uh, no. <laughs> our our shtick is that thing back over there. It sounds like rain. Okay, so I have a Patreon question for you guys. I don't get that one. Yeah, don't me neither. I just, sometimes <laughs> rain stick. Sometimes I say things, and here's the deal. I say that things was a that rain stick joke? Yeah, it's a rain stick joke. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> yeah, I disagree. I thought, it, I thought it was heady. You guys just are too dumb to figure it out, no, Mr. Here's my Here's my style of comedy. <laughs> I say anything that comes to my mind. Half the time, it's funny. The other half, it's not. And how I make it funny is I say it with confidence, and then I move on very quickly to the next thing so you don't have time see, to process see, it. I think that's my problem is I do the same thing with jokes, <laughs> but I don't move on with confidence. I just like, you get it? You get and, it? You get and it? this is a guide on how to run a podcast. <laughs> that's me. Hey, and ruin also, your relationships. Also, my hashtag problem is my watch. <laughs> My watch is telling me that I've been sitting too long and I need to stand up. So, well, your watch is a narc. Um, there we go. All right. Are you a co-op? I'm negative Are you a co-op? $25 overdrawn. That's a problem. That is a problem. I thought you said that you is were, a problem. All, all I just heard was I'm naked $325. Not the same. Overdrawn. Negative. Naked. Same. Naked. Yeah, naked. Um, guys, so I have a Patreon question for you, and it is a video question from our good friend Ryan Buds. Oh, nice. What's up, Wreck My Podcast crew, Jordan and the gang? It's your pal Ryan Buds from the Trivia with Buds podcast, which comes out every single day if you like pop culture trivia. My question of the month for you and your listeners is, what is your favorite moment from any Batman theatrical movie? I just got this awesome Joker poster from a friend of mine at a trivia night at Laverne, California, and it was on my mind. So I thought I would ask that question. What's your favorite Batman movie moment? Cheers. Oh, so yeah. Think about that. There's, there's what like eight, eight theatrical so Batman movies. No, yeah. there's, there's the four uh, in from the eighties and nineties. There's the three Nolan ones. There's Batman v Superman. There's Justice League. Uh, yeah. So, Craiger, what's your favorite moment? So it's kind of embarrassing, but it's it's got it's more nostalgia driven because like, uh -huh. when I was younger, I was super into. I still like motorcycles, but I was super into them as a kid. Loved them, and so the scene in the George Clooney Batman when Robin and Batgirl steal the bikes and go in the underground bike race that was one of my favorite scenes. That's pretty good. He's Chris O'Donnell, right? You yeah. know, he's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, Chris O'Donnell. Yeah, I like him. That that's that's actually. Probably one of the better scenes from that movie, honestly. He was my favorite actor when I was a little kid, and I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> it was because... before you got your Mufa. Well, way before. <laughs> yeah. Well before. <laughs> yeah, well before that Mufa. Uh, yeah, I don't know why Chris O'Donnell would be your favorite either. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, Joe and Cam, what are your guys' favorites? There's a lot to pull from in this one. I feel, Joe's my Batman expert like in this panel. Like I feel like Joe knows way more about Batman than I ever did because I was mm -hmm. never a DC but he's person. A, but he's at the coming from a rundown. He's not here right now. Oh, yeah. Joe Gennaro. No, <laughs> Joe, Joe Cubis. Um, <laughs> I, Nightwing's my favorite, but I haven't really seen a cool iteration of him yet. So my... Nightwing. Did you just ask who's Nightwing? I said, I said I like Nightwing the, is oh. my favorite, and no, I haven't I, seen a cool iteration of him no, yet. In I thought Craiger said who's Nightwing, and he no, said I, I like... I like Daywing. Oh, God. Oh. Nightwing. Fighter ah. uh, of the day wing. <laughs> ah. So um, Nightwing's a great character, and there's a really cool web series by Bat yeah. and Son, I think, that did it, possibly. Uh, I've so seen check some of those, oh, yeah. and they're cool, but yeah. like, it's, it's not, not the best. Like, it's not, like, whatever. Yeah. My favorite is in the original Tim Burton um, Batman when the Joker says, you have your dance with the devil in the pale moonlight to Batman and Batman realizes that's the guy that killed his parents. 
Uh, That's funny that you mentioned that scene. I was thinking about that one. That's my favorite scene in any of the movies. That's a good one. A lot to pull from in the Batman universe. Yes. Um, Thinking about that scene in particular, as well as Batman Begins um, from Christopher Nolan when he's in the Batmobile and all the cop cars are chasing him and how he gets away. Also thinking about the my personal favorite Batman movie, which is Dark Knight. Mm-hmm. Um, the interrogation scene between mm-hmm. him and the Joker. That scene's incredible. Heath Ledger. That's was gonna... probably my favorite scene. Yeah, for but sure. But it's also because I'm having trouble going through the entire like Batman catalog of like, okay, what are some really great scenes? Yeah, yeah I uh, my the one I was gonna pull out was the interrogation scene because I just I love Heath Ledger in that in, in that character it was amazing and the problem with batman really is killed it in that role yeah the, the yeah. exchange between Craig the two of them is excellent <laughs> Craig just made a terrible pun uh so uh i would go with the it interrogation scenes really good because i'm trying to think is there like a really cool fast-paced choreographed fight sequence in any of the modern batman films that's not just him going like ooh, ooh, i don't know why when you said that ooh, just made me think not really batman that's just kind of musical. batman's style of fighting yeah and so that's why i don't think there's any fight scenes besides maybe him like training at the beginning of batman begins that i really like but yeah i mean him and bane fighting at the end of rise it's a good fight i would just said rise of i would just said rise of the dark walker (laughs) nice dude um yeah uh the dark knight rises rises, yeah yeah um i like that end where like everything's going on around them and they're just like pounding grounding and pounding each other that's pretty cool (laughs) i love when they're pounding each other pounding each other man that's the that's the deleted scenes what's the worst batman movie nipples nipples oh no yeah well that's the worst costume for sure no Uh, oh yeah Justice League. Oh, Justice League was the worst. Oh God, that movie. I I I hated that movie. Uh, so I didn't much. even over. See it. You know what's funny? I did see Justice League. I can't remember a damn thing about it. The only I thing think... I remember is Henry Cavill's CGI face. We've had we this exact had... conversation. Oh with... yeah, I just could say we've had this exact conversation like two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the other thing too, uh, what uh, I was gonna say, uh, is that did you guys see? Ezra Miller, the guy who plays the Flash in the new stuff, that he like beat up some lady in the Netherlands or something like that what? recently, like in IRL. Yeah, in IRL. Yeah, in real what? life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was weird. It's on Twitter. You did it in IRL in Ireland. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Joe, do you have weakest link for us? I do have some weakest link for you. Ah. <laughs> All right, I will. Uh, I'll, are we doing twenty again? Yeah, twenty again. All right, do you have jingles for us, or do you put them in in post? I'm putting them in post because I can't get jingles on. So that's going to be a bummer when I move away and we do all this remotely all the time. Is I'm not going to be able to play any jingles for you guys. I have to do all that post work. All right. That's something that'll jingle for you. Okay, correct. Like coin purse. <laughs> it's filled with a lot of coins. Like, ah, they always have to be lucky charms. <laughs> All right, Joe, you ready to do weakest link then? Yeah. I'll keep yeah. time and score. And so explain to the viewers what this is. All right. So this is weakest link trivia. I'm going to give Jordan, Cam, and Krager three rounds. Each minute is one round. Each round is one minute. That's what I meant to say. Each round is one minute, and they got to try to get as many questions as they can, right? If they can get 20 questions or more correct, they win. If they don't, whoever got the least amount right loses. Uh, you know that one round every minute is technically also a factual statement if you're talking about an analog clock. hey <sighs> <laughs> All right, continue on. All right. Uh, let's see. Jordan, Cam, Crager, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. What Three, is it? 4. Red. Did you say red? <laughs> two then. Red two coming in. <laughs> so you said three, four, and two? Yeah. Who said four? I did. The number was nine. You're closest. Uh, nice. I should have been red seven. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Hang on. Don't start. I need to take this plastic out of my cat's mouth. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's got a plastic cat. All right, go ahead. Oh, there you go. 
All right. So, Cam, we're going to start with you. Then I'm going to move on over to Krager and then Jordan. We're going to do that weird motion. Right on. <laughs> oh, oh, for me, it's the other way. <laughs> oh, all right. Whatever. All right, Jordan, can you get a timer going for us? Timer's ready. All right, Cam. Question number one. What was the name of the Soviet satellite launched on October 4th, 1957? Craiger, what city were, was the first Olympic Games held? Greece. Uh, I need a city. Greece is a country. Athens. Correct. Jordan, who is the founder and chairman of Amazon.com? Jeff Bezos. Correct. Cam, what color of star has the hottest surface temperature? Uh, uh, b- b- blue or white? Uh, blue. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Krager, in what state is the Pentagon? Washington, D.C. That's not a state. Incorrect. It's Virginia. <laughs> yeah. So, Langley. Jordan, how many chambers make up the human heart? Four. Correct. Uh, Cam, what treaty ended World War I? Uh, the the uh, pass. Krager, what is the capital of Louisiana? Don't know. Pass. Pass it. Jordan, and chess, what piece can only move diagonally? Uh, that's the bishop. Correct. Cam, And what we're is done. It? Wow. We started off hot. Well, here's the thing. And then we got, died real died. quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, we got six. So we got was six. Craigers, the, the, the one for Louisiana, is that Baton Rouge? It is Baton yeah. Rouge. Uh, Did and anyone the treaty, know the treaty one? Hang on. Hang on. The treaty is the Treaty oh, of Vienna? No. Incorrect. No. The Treaty oh, of Versailles. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Versailles. Damn, damn yeah, it's Versailles. I, yeah. I knew it was something with the Treaty of Versailles. That's why I was that's like, the is only it treaty Vienna? I remember is Versailles. <laughs> yeah. Yep, it's oh, the man. Treaty of Versailles. All right. Uh, Craig, cool. Pentagon is in Virginia. In and it's Langley, know. I think. Langley, Virginia, right? You gave me mm-hmm. two ge- geographical things, and I am not going to ge- You got geography. Athens, though. You killed it. Yeah, you got brush, Athens. Brush up. <laughs> brush up. <laughs> I already brushed my teeth. <laughs> can't do it again until after eight again. All right. All right, let's move on to the second round of it, starting with Krager. Yeah, you guys got them all. Okay, Krager. Sweating. What is the eighth planet from the sun? Mars? Incorrect. Neptune. Jordan, how many keys are on a piano? Uh, 84. Incorrect. 88. Mm. Cam, how many months have only 30 days? Uh, Three. Incorrect. Four. Uh, Krager, when Columbus set sail, what was he actually looking for? America? No, that was incorrect. (laughs) (laughs) He was looking to passage to India. Uh, Jordan, what is the only metal that is not solid at room temperature? Heavy metal. (laughs) (laughs) Incorrect. Mercury. Cam, what country gifted the Statue of Liberty to the United States? France. Correct. Craiger, in 2016, this viral video fad kept people motionless. Oh, um, I don't remember what it was called. The pass. Shoot. That, that would be the mannequin challenge. Uh, Jordan, what is the street address for the White House? Uh, 1212 Pennsylvania Avenue. Incorrect. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. All right, we're done. <laughs> um, so this guys, isn't going well. <laughs> no, guys, we have to get... 13 of the next 10 questions right okay. <laughs> well if you guys can finish the next 10 questions in the minute i'll ask the questions that haven't been asked yet oh, okay okay so you guys are gonna have to go quick all right let's do quick guys okay uh, we gotta get a lot of them right who's me. next up for first jordan. me all right uh all right jordan what which u.s agency is responsible for suppressing counterfeit money the sec Incorrect. Secret Service. Cam, what year was Super Mario Brothers released in North America? 1986. Incorrect. 1985. Mm-hmm. Krager, what is the name of the lion in The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? Oh, Aslan. Yeah. Correct. Jordan, who is uh, named the antagonist in Little Mermaid? Uh, Ursula. Correct. Cam, how many inches is 10 feet? Uh, 120. Correct. Krager, what year did Michael Jackson die? 2014. Incorrect. 2009. Jordan, what tree does acorns come from? <laughs> Acorn tree. Oak. <laughs> Incorrect. Uh, Oak. Cam, what is the first element in the periodic table? Yeah, uh, hydrogen. Correct. Craiger, what are the first three words in the Bible? In the beginning? 
Yeah. That's correct. Yes. Uh, Jordan, what is the currency of Japan? Y- uh, yen. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Cam, Yeet. what is the postal abbreviation of Idaho? Uh, ID. Correct. And this is Franker, the last question. In what city is the Cathedral of Notre Dame? Punchback? <laughs> <laughs> That is incorrect. The correct answer is Paris. Yeah. <laughs> the city of Hunchback? <laughs> city of Hunchback. <laughs> Clearly, it, I don't know, so I was trying to make it funny, and it worked. So we only made it to 13. <laughs> for, oh, oh, my man. God. That was I crazy. have a feeling I came in last. Yeah, Cam and I tied at five, and Craig got three. That's it? Yeah. I, got, yeah. I think I got two right in the first round. <laughs> yeah, you did. And then none oh, of us, one. like, only one of us got And then you got the Bible right. one. Yeah. You guys actually got through every question except for one what's the other question what is the name of the piggy bank in toy story ham ham correct yeah all right guys i got something for you to ponder is it ice cubes because i'm hot nope (laughs) in horse racing why do they award the rider and not the horse Hey, the horse gets flowers. <laughs> That's true, actually. May the Doesn't... horse be with you. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, guys. I have a conspiracy corner for you. <laughs> it's Disneyland themed again. So, oh, baby. Let's do it. You guys remember this little ride called It's a Small World? Oh, yeah. 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 Only, it's actually only... really big. It's so big. You get inside. It's a giant world. Um, so, It's a Small World at Disney World in Orlando, Florida at the Magic Kingdom. It's called Epcot. No, no, it's in Magic (laughs) Kingdom in Disney World. Uh, That version of it, before 2004, they did a refurbishment in 2004, but before that... Was way more racist. Yeah. No, in the finale scene, they actually had a hot air balloon up in the corner with a sad clown holding a sign that said, help. (laughs) So that's pretty creepy. That's hilarious. Like, this sad clown is just, like, asking for help to be taken out of this final scene of It's a Small World. Wait, so they removed it or it's still there? They removed it in 2004 when they refurbished the ride. And now it's a happy clown holding a balloon. Why was it there to begin with? That's the question. I don't know. It's probably in a warehouse somewhere, like this creepy little sad clown. I agree. There's pictures on the internet where you can find this uh, clown holding the help sign. It's it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of cool. All right. Let's do some Uber facts with Craig. Let's do it. Welcome to Uber Facts with Kreger, the segment where Kreger says some stuff, we say some stuff, and some stuff happens. Now here he is, take it away, Kreger. <laughs> All right, Kreger, lay you like on facts? Oh, I for- oh, I forgot you, you like Kreger? <laughs> <laughs> then come on down to Craig of Facts with Craig. All right. So how this works is I'm going to bring three facts from the Uber Facts Instagram, and I'm going to take one of them and alter them and try and stump you four little fine gentlemen. All right. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. All right. Do your Uber Facts, Craig. So. All right. Let's go. <clears throat> First, seventy-two percent of women like spending time with their best friends more than their husband slash boyfriend, according to a two thousand nineteen survey. More than one in four women said their partners didn't get the number one spot because their female friends were less irritating. Uh huh. Yeah, that's number. <laughs> oh God, bless America, Joe. <laughs> 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 our audio our audio listeners have no idea. See, this is the problem. We have fresh stuff we can do for video. <laughs> oh my god. Alrighty. Number two. Men to have more men tend to have more satisfying sex with women who are quote unquote a little unstable, according oh. to a study published by the Journal of Sex Research. That's one hundred percent factual. Yeah, you don't don't hit me right in the experience, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Number three, sure, it's having a positive attitude literally literally makes your brain work more effectively, according to Stanford researchers. That's 100% true. 
And lastly, men who have sex twice a week are, are, <clears throat> are I can't talk. Men who have sex twice a week are up to 45% less likely to have a heart attack than men who have sex once a month or less, according to a study published in the American Journal of Cardiology. How, mu- how much percent more? 45. Okay. According I believe to that, it, Jared, you and I are never going to have a heart attack. Yeah, we're never dying. <laughs> so, so I know for I know for I'm a, about to die. I know for a fact. <laughs> I know for a fact that having sex at least twice a week does uh, decrease your chances of having a heart attack and right. helps a healthier heart. I don't know if the forty five percent is right though. I feel like it was only like twenty percent. What's what the percentage if you pull out? Uh, sixty nine. Nice. Yeah. Um, uh, what was A I, A was the seventy two percent of women say that their their friends are their girl their best friend is their girlfriends, not their husband or significant other. Yeah, their number one person is their is their girlfriends, not their significant other, because they're huh. annoying. I'm gonna go with A. I think A is fake. I'm gonna go uh, with A too. Yeah, I think and, and you know what it is? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a hot take here on it too. Uh, I think it's actually more. I think it's more than seventy two percent of women say that. Mm. Joe, you're going with that as well. Uh, which one was uh, B again? B was a little unstable sex is more fun, according to Cam and other men. More satisfying sex. More satisfying. I'm gonna. Oh, it's called. Um... Yeah. See, I'm gonna go with the word satisfying was... because yeah. it might be way more fun, but I don't know how satisfying it is. I was gonna because... say. Okay. Yeah. I'm changing my answer to B because I think satisfying is technically the wrong word. Yeah, because I've experienced some some things. Yeah, there could be crazy people. Doesn't mean it's going to be satisfying. <laughs> they make every crazy game. person has been satisfying. I mean, if you just had a Snickers on hand in case it's not satisfying, you'll never be disappointed. Yeah, because Snickers satisfies. Greatest joke of the entire podcast we've ever had, Jordan. Good job. So <laughs> what I'm here for. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we have Jordan going with the girlfriends are better than the boyfriends, and Joe and Cam are going with the. Sex on a boat. Sex with an unstable woman. Yeah, unstable yeah. sex on a boat. And also, it, Joe and I go a wheelhouse. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of what we do. <laughs> well, clearly, you guys well, not, are getting not, experience. Not currently. Jordan got it right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. Hang on. Wait, wait. Don't you forget about me. Don't, don't, yeah. don't, don't. <laughs> hey, in our defense, we are no longer with unstable people. That's true. I'm That's with true. very moderately stable people. And I want to know the percentage, though. Was I right that it's a higher percentage? Wrong. It is oh, a lower darn. percentage. Lower. So first of all, I'll say the, the men who have sex twice a week are up to 40% less likely to have a heart attack. Um, Does that yeah. mean that I'm never going to have a – I'm 130% not going to have there a heart you attack? Go, you man. missed the joke that Joe and I already said. <laughs> I made it slightly different. <laughs> yeah. So the actual thing is, is I got, I got, I got lazy on this one. I just changed it from forty percent to seventy-two percent, and it was a two thousand eighteen survey, not a two thousand nineteen survey. Oh my god! <laughs> if that was like the final factor, that's so dumb. All right, guys, I'm gonna take. Hey, we're gonna still some two of them. We're gonna take a break right now for some jingle that doesn't really matter because I have to pee. <laughs> okay. Transition. Right. I'll be right back. Here is an obligatory music break in the middle of the episode. Let's do some stoked on this. Yeah. 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 While we haven't heard or seen it, there was something to perceive it. Rumble time and hype give us something to believe. Our way shows to focus emphasis. We're forming a hypothesis, but all we really know is that we're stoked on this. Stoked on this. Stoked on this. You get a stoked on this. You get a stoked on this. You all get a stoked on this. So what are you guys stoked on this week? I am stoked on season three of Ozark. Ooh. Um, I know that uh, season three came out like kind of at the start of all of this quarantine stuff, but I missed it because I wasn't all the way caught up on season two. So mm-hmm. I finished season two, loved it. And then it has been nothing but insanity and craziness. The way Ozark really hits you with just so many different layers. Jason Bateman directs a lot of the episodes in this season and I'm blown away with what he does. So it's phenomenal. Also still stoked on Dave Craig, or have you been able to watch that yet? No. Cause um, I've been, uh, I've been going on a Westworld hype right now. Okay. You I started watching Dave. Dave. It was great. 
You need it. Okay. It's phenomenal. I, well, I love it. Like, I, well, what's funny is when you mentioned that, I went back and I watched um, a couple of uh, little Dickie's uh, YouTube videos. The, uh, yeah. The pillow talking, you know, Earth and all like those he, funny ones. And stuff he like that. directs a couple of the episodes, writes most of them. Yeah. And he's he's a genius. This show is one of the funniest shows I've seen in my entire life. Is is Dave? Uh, but season three Ozark, perfect. Also stoked that I got a sixty eight dollar bottle of uh, Glenn Levitt for twenty two dollars at Target. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. Is that because you just stole it, but you left twenty two dollars in its place? If I were to steal it, I would just steal it. I would. Yeah. Okay. So okay. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Gregor, what are you stoked on? Um, I am stoked on that. Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ooh. Um, I'm stoked on that. Uh, I have, we're all getting twelve hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred people. And on top of that, my old place. Um, remember how I was stressed out that that we're gonna charge for a security deposit? Yeah. Yeah. They deducted forty dollars off the security deposit. Oh, that's oh wow! Nothing. That's good. Yeah. So that's I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get some money in April. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. forty bucks. Woo. Joe, what are you, uh, Joe, what are you stoked on? Um, the newest season of a sitcom called Kim's Convenience has been excellent. I'm laughing my butt off at this. Um, the other one is not so much a stoked on this for me, but it's more stoked on this for Craiger and Jordan because they are resident Scrubs fans. Oh, yeah. And there is a yep. new podcast yeah, out there is. called Fake Doctors, Real Friends how, with Zach and Donald. How did I forget to say I know. My, oh, neither I one of us to, plugged that at all. I already all. listened to the first episode, and I'm freaking so excited. Oh, it's so good. It's yeah. so good. Rejoin it, Zach Braff and Donald. What's his last name? Faison. 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 As Jinx they relive Jinx. some of the uh, Scrubs episodes. Yeah, they're basically Haven't listened doing, to it yet, but it's supposed to be really entertaining. Go I, ahead, Gregor. I've already listened to the first episode. It was very entertaining. Um, they're basically doing kind of like Pam um, from the office and Angela, the and office Angela. ladies. Yeah. yeah, they're um, they're they're re They're going through. They're going to watch an episode. They do a podcast on it. Watch an episode. Do a podcast on it. And it's supposed to like they're going to tell stories from behind the scenes. And, like just the first episode was jam packed with really fun stories. You know what we should do? We should start a podcast called the Wreck My Podcast Podcast, where we go back and watch early episodes of the Wreck My Podcast and do a podcast on those episodes of the podcast. Do that because all eleven of our fans would lose their mind. Yeah, they would love Especially it. Especially their minds because it'd be so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Especially when that's what they call us, anyways. The Wreck My, My Podcast Podcast. Yeah, they do. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I. You know what? Actually, it's not a bad idea to do that to at least one of them. It would be kind of funny for our patrons to do that, to yeah. do like a mystery science because we own it. So it's true. We could do one of the, you know, you could do one of the ones where I wasn't there yet or yeah. one of my first or second appearances. Yeah, that'd be funny. All right. I am stoked on a TV show that's on Amazon Prime called Tales from the Loop. Have you heard of this? Not yet. No. No. Okay. So Matt Reeves of the new Batman movie fame is an executive producer. Uh, that and, freaked me out. That's one of my students' names. And I was oh, like, no. why is he talking to you? <laughs> nope. Different, different Matt Reeves. Uh, it's based on an art book by some Swedish guy who I'm not even going to try and say his name properly. It looks Blurk like a Hans Burglar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, looks, dinga dinga it looks like a mix between Stranger Things and Black Mirror. It's like very okay. kind of uh, dark and dystopian, but also 80s. So nostalgia with a twist? Yes, with the twist. With the twist. Yeah. Yeah. So this show looks really, really cool. Go check it out. Uh, I haven't started watching it yet, but just every, like the trailers and stuff I've seen looks awesome. Guys, we have a segment now that we haven't gotten to in a little while. And it's all about Cam schooling us on the finer things of the internet. <laughs> yeah. It's been, it's been a bit. This is uh, Cam's Corner. Put the jingle there. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, it's Cam's Corner. Come on and settle in to Cam's Corner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, <laughs> I, uh, as, as most of you know, but some of you might be new listeners, um, I scour the internet for a video that is really pertinent for the times and something that can give you, um, uh, I don't know, some kind of solace in knowing that you're not alone in a time of dire straits where uh, I use my expertise and my knowledge to find something that can really influence the nation and the world, but more importantly, 
you. Uh, I want you to feel comfortable and feel happy and give you something to, I don't know, bring joy into your heart in a time where we're all too afraid to go outside because, you know, coronavirus is serious. And so I'm bringing you something um, that I hope you all enjoy. And uh, here it is. This machine creates potato canishes. This is where I make potato canishes. The magic and the mystery of potato canishes. Little black squash balls. This machine creates little black squash balls. It turns potato pancakes into little black squash balls. This is where I make Santa beads. I sure love to make Santa beads. I turn little black worms into Santa beads. I turn little black worms into Santa So, potato canishes. Potato canishes. My my friend who used to be my student, Jesse, that was his roommate at CalArts, made that video. The, it's CalArts wow. weirdness. Yeah, <laughs> and he made one that actually this got made really, in Minecraft. Really, yes. Do you guys remember the um, mouse? The, oh my God, what's it called? Uh, one of those nursery rhymes that's like Johnny Johnny Yes. Oh, salad fingers. Did you guys ever see that video? No. Okay, well, my old student and now current friend, Jesse, made that video. And so uh, they're almost very similar styles. But here's the thing I, I, uh, that is the weirdest thing about this video. The little me. black squash balls? No, it has 7.9 million views. Yeah, it's one of the what? most important videos ever. Like how? I don't get how this gets 7.9 million views and we have three. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> <laughs> Did you enjoy it? No, I didn't get it. I don't know it. I don't know what the like what the point is of it. That it's is a hundred percent why. If someone sees it and goes, This is weird, sends it to their friend, and then one of their friends that's like me goes, This is awesome, and sends it to a hundred and fifty people. So what we should do is next is make episode, a weird video. Yeah, next episode we should all be block characters that our limbs go way too far in different ways and talk about little black squish balls. No, Dude, see down, my would, vote. My vote is for uh, naked creating the oh. uh, I'm the glibber glabber glibber 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 that one. Yeah, I'll be one of the books. Okay, I'll be the big fat doughy gum gum chewed up gum guy. Yeah, uh, all right, so we finally are down to our last segment. Craig is walking in. What do you not have trivia, Joe? No, but it's the last segment. That's oh, it. yeah, it's the last segment before we Aww. go. Craiger is walking down to the ring in an empty arena because we're practicing social distancing. I like the way he's walking, too. That's how we walk down the ramp. Yeah, you know it. I, just, I, I, I individually touch all my fans. There you go. Individually with a finger. Yeah, all, all 13 of them. Uh, so I'd be like one of those like televangelists where I touch them like, oh! <laughs> what po what poster signs would people be holding up for Krager? Oh man, that's Fe uh, fear the beard. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Beggars and can't be choosers. Be yeah, beggars can't be choosers. I and touch me. <laughs> and <laughs> songs I every time we touch, <laughs> someone would write, "I stole Krager's bike." Yes, that would be <laughs> yeah. prime time. Prime time yeah. would have some sign about the bike up yeah. there. <laughs> I uh. I just want to give a shout out to Corey. She gave me a haircut yesterday and trimmed my eyebrows, and I feel so handsome. What is Aww. with you two getting your eyebrows plucked or trimmed? And yeah, like mine are starting to grow in again. It's been like a week or two, so Dude, I need Corey's to get so done. good at it. I, well, I grow crazy, insane eyebrows. They're like Eugene Levy's. Like, they get real thick. And so she trims them to where I'm pretty again. I've been told <laughs> that I have good eyebrows. I never, I never touch them, though. Except for now. <sighs> I get a unibrow, too. 
My, uh, I don't my, know. I've never touched mine. I probably have giant caterpillars and no, don't even know. Your eyebrows are nice, Joe. You have good natural eyebrows for a man. Yeah, buddy. My yeah, eyebrows buddy. are like the Israelites. They're just wandering around the desert of my face for 40 years, and someone needs to stop them. All right, so, Joe, what are we doing trivia on? See, that's an example of my bad joke <laughs> moving on real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's effective. You it is a fable humor. Come on you, down. Yeah, to you you don't leave enough time for anyone to think, was that funny? You just move on. <laughs> I just shook my head at you. That's all I did. Yeah. All right. Since no one cashed in their money in the bank, nope. I chose a trivia that is something obviously we haven't done before. Money in the bank. Uh, so this is actually going to be a movie studio trivia. Dang. Now, oh. I'll give you an example. I'm going to give you a movie. Say it's Fast and the Furious. Uh huh. And then I'm going to give you four options as to who distributed this movie. Is it A, Universal? Okay. B, yes. Paramount? C, Columbia? D, DreamWorks? C, that's a, <laughs> that's a Columbia movie. No, it's that Paramount. Be a, hey, that would be a, a Universal oh. movie. Uh, so it okay, looks like well, this is going to be a good category okay, no matter what. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so I like this. I like I, this. I, I have us. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to hedge my bet. The only one I got right was the practice one. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's see how well you guys know your movie studios. We're going to start with number one, which we go back to Halloween. Number one would be The Nightmare on Elm Street. So would it be A... Universal, to, uh, B, 20th Century Fox, C, New Line Cinema, or Krager. D, Columbia? Jordan. Krager. Krager. C. New Line Cinema is the correct answer. Let's go. That is one point for Big Begs. Johnny's standing in the kitchen. He goes, depends on if it's the original or the remake. It's the okay, original. Freaking he did say all the Johnny. way back to, well, okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, okay, continue. All right, number two, you all should know this because we did a podcast about it. Beetlejuice. Was Beetlejuice distributed by A, Universal, B, Krager. Disney, jo Fox? That is incorrect, Craig. Oh. Jordan, did you say your name? No, I didn't say my name. It? I, I said Joe. Okay. A, Universal, B, Disney, C, Warner Brothers, D, Camp Paramount. Jordan. Cam, you were first. Warner Brothers. That is correct. Mm. Number three, The Hunger Games. A, Universal. B, 20th Century Fox. C, Lionsgate. Cam, D, Jordan. Warner Brothers. Cam, you were first. Lionsgate. Lionsgate is correct. Do you remember that? I'm like a step behind on Cam mm. on the last past two. Number five. Oh, nope. That's supposed to be number four. Did I skip a number? Maybe. Yeah, I skipped Cam the number. Has two points and I have one point. <laughs> yeah. So we're on okay. number four. Four. Uh, the Godfather. A, Universal. B, Columbia. C, Warner Brothers. Craig. D, Paramount. A? Jordan. A, Universal is incorrect. Cam. Jordan. And what, were, what were the other three options again? Paramount. Uh, B, Columbia. C, Warner Brothers. D, Paramount. Uh, Warner Brothers? That is incorrect. Columbia. That is incorrect. The Paramount. correct answer is D, Paramount. Wow. I'm Joe surprised Paramount point. did that. I didn't yeah. expect that at all. Number five, Avatar. Camp Fox. That is correct. Mm -hmm. 20th Century Fox did Avatar. Number six, Cloverfield. Is it... A, Paramount, B, 20th Century Fox, C, Columbia, Jordan, or Krager. D, Warner Brothers. Jordan. Um, Paramount? That's the one with the stars? Yeah, Paramount. That, goes around. that is correct. Yeah. That is Cloverfield. Did you say Paramount? He did, he did Paramount. Say Paramount. Paramount. Paramount, whatever. <laughs> Keep I'm just down. I'm just down here in the south, guys. Doing my you, Paramount. You, you, you do you listen to your favorite band, Paramar? Also, yeah, of keep course up I those do. mispronunciations. You're not gonna um, Paramount to much, am I right? <laughs> I don't even know what a guitar is. Mm -hmm. I will right, die. Number seven. The year 2000. This movie came out. The original X Men. 
Jordan. Chris, we did a podcast about Jordan. Jordan. You got Go ahead. Jordan. Jordan. 20th Century Fox. That is correct. Yep. Dang it. Uh, Number eight. Matthew McConaughey's Interstellar came out in 2014. Cam, Lionsgate. That is incorrect. Damn it. Oh, that would have been my guess. Your options are A, Lionsgate, B, Universal, C, Paramount, Crager. D, Sony. Sony. Incorrect, Craiger. So it's Paramount or what? Uh, Universal or Paramount? Oh, Universal. Incorrect. It's uh, Paramount. No. <laughs> Joe's beating me. Yep. Joe is beating <laughs> Craig. <laughs> oh, man. Number nine, the movie Split. Part of the Unbreakable universe um, with Glass. Did these movies come out by A, Universal, B, Sony, Craig. C, Paramount, D, 20th Century? Craig, it's Ours. Sony. That is incorrect. Son of a Jordan. I think um, Jordan said it before I did. I heard yeah, it did. before I even so, did. So what was it? 20th Century Fox, Paramount, it, and... Universal, Sony, Paramount, 20th Century Fox. Craig already said Sony. Um, I'm going to go with 20th Century Fox. That is incorrect. Well, that's what I was going to say. So what are your... <laughs> <laughs> um, your next options are Universal and Paramount. Uh, I'll go Paramount. Incorrect. It's Universal. <laughs> so if Joe gets one more right, he wins. If we no, don't, get, yeah, because huh? he's tied with you for first right now, Cam. Holy shit! I hope it's a Pixar one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number ten, Mean Girls. Gregor. Oh damn it! <laughs> Jump the gun on that one. Well, it's like he did so many Sony options. It's got to be Sony. <laughs> Oh crap! Um, is that your answer? No, it's not my answer because I know Sony didn't do that. Um, I'm gonna go with <laughs> Paramount. <laughs> Paramount is the correct answer. Yes! Oh. <laughs> that means that Craig. I have I have I have ESPN with my tits. That means that Cam won by one point. The title. Thank so you, Cam Craig. now gets the title. Uh, Jordan, here, here you go. Gordon, what do you have? Oh, there you go. Yep. Um, but Joe has to ask us a tiebreaker because Jordan and Craig are tied for last place at second. And at second? At two points apiece. So we got to see who brings trivia next week. Craig held on to that title for like three weeks now, though. Yeah, he held it. He held it like a now little boy that's got a pee. Little boys that gotta be cannot hold it. No, because they hold it. They actually they, they, they like pinch literally the hold it. Yeah. My ting tang. What was that? It's a Joe Coy joke. Ah, uh, Joe, do you not have a tiebreaker? Uh, I do. Um. This doesn't okay. sound like someone prepared. No, I'm not prepared. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> I will give uh, you a movie though. Okay, give us a movie. Crap. Nope, that one's too easy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, we did Aladdin. Yeah. This is why we're so popular. Uh, uh, I did my numbering wrong. I should have had something. Okay. Anyways. Um, okay. So I have a movie for you. Yes. And it is uh -huh. 2004's The Notebook. Oh. Now, did The Notebook come out by, or was distributed by, Universal, B, Paramount, C, New Line Cinema, Gregor. or D, 20th Century Fox? New Line Cinema. That is correct. Oh, okay. So Jordan is bringing, and I speaking of myself <laughs> in the third person, I am bringing trivia to the podcast next week, and it, unless I decide to cash in my money gonna, in the bank. What are you going to bring on? Tell me now so I can study. Oh, okay. Uh, it's going to be cats and cat-like things. Oh, dude. Okay, deal. Yeah. All right, Alan, guys. Can you say hi to everyone? Ellen, can you? Ellen. Oh! <laughs> we had a cat on the podcast. Yeah, we We're did. a cat cast. Uh, the first person we had. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, I think, speaking of that, we should do a Mystery Science Theater-themed review of the new Cats movie. I think that'd be hilarious. That's a good one. But we are definitely... Uh, our Patreons are going to get, once the quarantine is lifted, we are going to watch Bubba Hotep together. Can't wait. And do a mystery science theater on Bubba Hotep.
Can't wait. So, I love that movie so much. Yep. My friend's dad directed that. Who's your friend's dad? Uh, I don't know his name. It his was name is Bubba. Like, but it was it was my friend Marissa's dad. Like I don't know. <laughs> oh, Marissa's dad, directed by I Marissa's dad. I reach out to her. Is that Patreon I member Marissa Cola? Actually, no, yes. Reach out and see because maybe we could do that, and then we could do a little interview thing too with him, or have him watch it. I with haven't us. talked to her in eighteen years, so that's okay. Sounds like it's time to talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Thanks for listening. All the ways to follow and support us are down in the show notes. We have the social medias. We have wreckmypodcast.com. We have Redbubble. We have a Patreon store. Those are all great things to help support us, and you guys get some stuff back. We'd like to thank Ben from Petrified Gumbo Music for making our Stoked on This song. Go to petrifiedgumbomusic.com if you need some com- compositions made. We have an episode on Godzilla from 1998, a Matthew Broderick one coming out on Wednesday. So tune back in and check that out. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we also have uh, some other episodes coming out in the future, too. So <laughs> keep on listening for that. Here they come. Here, here they come. Very episodic. Yes. Thank you to my guests for being here, uh, more being there as we're all staying safe at home, kind of. And finally, thank you to what our listeners. What do you listener. mean, kind of? Well, oh, Craig still goes office. to work, and I'm at the office. Craig still goes to work, yeah. Um, and, and judging from the last time we podcasted, Joe had just a clown car full of people coming into his house as we were recording, so. <laughs> uh, <about> that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so thank you to our listeners, because without you, we wouldn't have any reason to hang out around a table in our respective homes every week. Thank you. Bye. I love you. I like and I love you all. Frozen wallet. Again with the prison wallet. Always got to bring it wallet. back, man. Got to bring it back. So it's do you guys? A year since. Oh, it's like my little fucking Mexican treat, <laughs> which is also what, like a creepy guy at a gas station would say to a Latina. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're my little, you're my little Mexican treat. Hi, Poppy. She's like, I, <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm, I'm Cuban. And he's like, Ooh, Ooh, Maduras. <laughs> Joe's on a yeah, on Joe. a Joe's on that Saturday level right now. Yeah, yeah, is. Bump. I'm getting there. Bump, 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 bump. Did you figure it out? The recording. Uh, yeah, we're. I'm hoping it doesn't uh mess up. So if we're losing anything, we're losing the Godzilla one. As you can see, I'm wearing a wetsuit. Oh, Craig is ready for... <laughs> you going surfing? <laughs> I put on a wetsuit for this podcast. Dang. I am going to be sweating hard. Our, our, voices, hoard. our voices Stupid make Craig now. wet. <laughs> Hold on. I got I to gotta, uh, gotta change my headset. Damn it, these are comfortable. Saki it to me, baby. Which one is that? Is that the one you like, the cold one? What's it called? In, in Nigori? Mm-hmm. This would yeah. be... The almighty crazy milk, Nagori. Nagori's so good. So, two things. Yeah. One, that's going to get real hot in here. Yeah. Two. Yes, Major Tom. I bought this when I was like a senior in high school. And it's snug <laughs> now, huh? Oh, yeah. But that's, but it, see, it's hard to tell if it's too snug or not because it's supposed to be snug. So it keeps the water out. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, I'm going to go grab my Glen Levitt so I can drink something that tastes good and it's not this fucking... Is that fucking... like the expensive whiskey? Yeah. I have mm. Glen Levitt. Uh, I think it's 20 year in my garage right now. Ooh, Let's... can I have a quarantine? Can, 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 we, can we come over and have 10 foot, 10 foot Glen Levitt? No, you're, uh, you're all diseased. <laughs> not, I want to taste that's, the 20. I've never had the 20. I've had the that, 12 and the 16. That, that's I've never why I had said the we 20. have 10 foot. We all say 10 feet away from each other. I'll have to double check to make sure it is 20. I'll have to look at the bottle in the garage. We have so much alcohol in the garage. At, at Target just now, I got my Glen Levitt. Um, it was a $68, bottle, a $68 bottle of scotch. I got it for $22 on sale. Damn. Dude, You, I would have paid you money to buy two of them i didn't have enough for two of them i bought that I and in, am regretting it because now i am all the way overdrawn well then i will pay you for some of it how about that 
<laughs> it is. Well, it's it's almost gone. Um, Did you said you bought it today? No, no, no. I bought it like three days oh. ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've been drinking it a lot because it tastes so fucking good. But I'm going to go uh, pour myself a glass of it right now. Pour myself two okay. fingers of it because I can't just, drink this fucking Captain Morgan anymore. It's making me sick. And... Oh, I hate Captain Morgan. Yeah, I hate Captain Morgan already. I hate rum already. And then now this is gingerbread flavored. Mm. No, no, no. I have a lot of earwax today. <laughs> Could start a candle business with all this. <laughs> oh my god! Where'd Cam go? He went to pour a drink. Ooh yeah! I poured a drink out of my penis. He's pouring one into his cup. <laughs>